Hello, I'm here testing the blue microphone. Um, it's a new one I just got, the Yeti. Um, probably a step up from the blue Snowball. I've heard good things about it. I've listened to sound samples online. It sounds great. So um, because I do a lot of course casting for my course, I couldn't resist looking at a better microphone. Uh, so I'm just putting this one through its paces and sharing with you some of the features that are nice. Um, one of the great features here on the back is that it has a gain control, so although you set the sound gain in your sound control preferences, this allows you to alter it from what you have in your sound preferences. If you need to increase it for uh, interviews or softer sound sources or decrease it for uh, loud sound sources like instrumentation or vocals um, or other things that might be very loud, uh, they suggest you leave it um, set at half and adjust from there. There are four recording patterns. There's a stereo pattern. There is an omnidirectional pattern for podcasting, probably is the best um, for best for uh, conference calls or perhaps uh, field recordings or live music, possibly. The third setting is the uh, cardioid pattern, which is probably the most um, flexible pattern. They suggest that one's good for podcasting or voiceovers or vocals or instrumentation. Uh, again, there are benefits and drawbacks to um, cardioid versus omnidirectional. And omnidirectional records from all directions around the microphone. So not just the front or the back, but all the way around. So that's typically good for uh, maybe a room, if you're having a discussion within a room, a conference call. Uh, sitting around a table full of folks versus where the bi-directional just records on each side of the microphone. Omnidirectional records from a 360 degree periphery. Um, so that is a great setting that's included in there as well. And finally bi-directional, which is the last setting. Great for interviews, perhaps when you're sitting across the desk for somebody and uh, you want it to pick up, which means it picks up from both sides of the microphone. Um, or vocal duets where you're facing each other or so on. So there's some nice settings here. Right now I have set it on cardioid. On the back side here, there is a mute button, which is very handy, and as well a overall uh, volume control because there's a headphone jack. And in the bottom here, you can, of course, there's a threaded uh, connection for a microphone stand, but in the bottom you can also plug in your headphone jack. And this gives you direct volume to monitor the volume of the headphones versus going through your control panel and messing with it that way. Um, it, it's a very sturdy microphone. comes with a nice stand um, that could be taken off. Again, you could use a typical microphone stand for this. Um, and a um, nice long, long USB cable. I didn't measure it, but it's longer than your typical USB cable. Uh, nice and weighty, so it's very sturdy. Um, overall, um, so far, uh, again, I just took it out of the box, but I'm very excited about the possible quality for the microphone and um, experiment with some of the pattern settings as well as um, how it does for course casting and podcasting. So um, that's just my quick review uh, out of the box. Uh, five minutes ago from Amazon, um, and um, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I just want to share that in case any of you are looking for a USB microphone. Um, again, this is the Blue Yeti. Um, very nice. Easy to use, easy to set up. Uh, sound quality is great.